writing in the ancient world was often used by governments, just as our government uses a lot of writing today, but it's often used in quite a different way. So something like this is a stone that was set up to record that the city of Troy had voted for honours to the Syrian king. As you can see, the writing is very continuous and there are no gaps between the words. It would be quite difficult to read something like this without specialist knowledge. Even if you could read and write, something like this would look pretty intimidating. Uh, you can see from the size of it as well that it would be quite a big presence if it was put up in public. And in public places in Greek cities, they often had many hundreds of inscriptions like this recording honours to citizens and to foreigners, and also recording the laws that had been passed in the city. And it would be quite difficult to find the one you wanted if you wanted to refer to it, if you needed to find a particular inscription like this to check what, what honours exactly were given to a foreign king, how would you know where to look? There might have been a copy somewhere in an archive, but we're just not sure. And we don't know how much people would have actually come and referred to something like this. This seems very strange to us because we think of something big like this in stone of really commemorating something and being a permanent record of what was said. But actually, in Greek culture, writing was often not as trusted as it is for us today. And people often express concern that on an inscription like this, someone could come along and change the name at the top and there would be a false record of what had gone on. And people actually worried that writing was much less reliable than people's memories of what had happened.